Hello, Mark Scott with HurricaneTrack.com here. Hurricane Outlook and discussion time. Hurricane Harvey. This will actually be fairly short because we are narrowing down to landfall. And I'm mainly going to point out some very helpful tools for you to use after we get through the initial analysis here. So first of all, winds are still 85 miles per hour. The pressure has dropped down to 973 millibars and it's moving northwest at 10 miles per hour. You see in here that the landfall is projected in the very early uh, daylight hours of Saturday along the central Texas coast. And as a major hurricane, they are assuming that the rapid intensification will resume again tonight. There's this warm ocean heat content sitting in front of the path here of Harvey, and it is forecast to make landfall as a major Category 3 Hurricane. Now that matters mainly because of the wind in terms of the Saffir Simpson scale, the category. The rainfall, and we're going to talk about that in a moment, and the storm surge are going to be the bigger stories here. The wind is only going to affect, uh, change this color to green here, uh, a small area right near where the core comes in. Okay? In terms of damaging wind, there's going to be trees down and power outages over a very large area overall but the heaviest of the winds that are near the core of the hurricane. And the hurricane force winds only extend out 25 miles right now. So the next few days, very slow movement after it makes landfall, and then maybe drifting up here near Houston. And the flood event coming from this could be one of the most disastrous that we have seen ever. And I don't say that lightly. Absolutely phenomenal flooding coming up. And I just don't know what to say about it. People are going to have to be, be very careful and take it very seriously. Uh, here's the satellite image of Harvey. You can see just a little bit of a hint, again, of the eye right there. See that? Right in there. And drawing it right there for you. That's where the eye is. It starts to clear out just a little bit. I'll get rid of the telestration sheet so you can see it. And so the forecast is for it to make landfall right up through here somewhere, the center of it and it's to the right of that center where the heaviest storm surge will be, all right? And that storm surge in some places could be near 12 feet. And there will be also storm surge uh, farther down the coast uh, towards the South Padre Island. I mean, the whole area could see surge all the way over to Morgan City over here. So it's coming. And tomorrow's the last chance you're going to have for just a, a few hours to prepare. I want to give you a couple of tools here. I cannot emphasize this enough. This could really help you. I want you to go, if you want to know what to expect, weather.gov, right there. You see it? Weather.gov. You put in your zip code. For example, you could put in the zip code for Freeport, Texas. All right? Oops, sorry. The arrow, the infamous arrow, keeps rearing its ugly head. 77 541 for Freeport, Texas. You see that? And there's other areas, Clute, Lake Jackson, etc., nearby zip codes. Let's just look at Freeport. You say, I live in Freeport. I want to know what to expect. Well, it's right here for you. I went over this before, so if I'm sounding like a broken record, a broken record, a broken record, I apologize. But this is gold because all of these different statements here, these outlooks and statements, those give you the details that you're looking for. All right? So if you went in and you clicked on the hurricane local statement as an example, it is issued by your local office, in this case, the Houston Galveston, Texas office. It gives you the time stamp. How up to date is it? And this is updated several times a day. Uh, and then there are all kinds of products and, and information listed within the statement. You scroll down and you can see all that. Wind, surge, all kinds of information. A lot of it. And it might seem like a lot, but read it. Because this is going to tell you what you need to know. It's all right in this area. As an example, if you live in a place particularly vulnerable to flooding, such as near the ocean or large inland lake, in a low-lying or poor drainage area, in a valley or canyon, or near an already swollen river, Plan to move to safe shelter on higher ground. This is where the info is that can help you, and it's written by real people that live in your area. So use it. 
the radar. Harvey's starting to come into range of the radars along the coast. And it's just going to get worse from here. And, you know, it's not really started yet, but tomorrow you're going to have a few precious hours, and then that's really going to be it. The rain bands are going to move in. And you can see that some of those bands extend even in the offshore waters up here near Houston, Galveston. And this whole circulation is going to rotate onshore with time and bring a tremendous flood event for parts of Texas that may be historic. We'll have to just see. Real quick, I want to talk about our plans. I am in Alice, Texas, which is, let's get the color back that I need, red, thank you. Alice, Texas is, let's see if I can zoom in on this real quick before I go to that. Will it let me? Nope, that's fine. This is not an image necessarily, whatever. So I'm in Alice, Texas, which is just west of Corpus Christi over here. And uh, I'm inland enough that I feel safe from surge, obviously. Got a lot of work to do to get equipment ready, but I plan on trying to put as much equipment as I can down the coast of Texas here to catch the worst of the effects. I've got these unmanned camera systems, the two weather stations, and then, depending on where the eye of Harvey makes landfall, uh, my team and I will get out here in front of it and presumably launch the weather balloon that we brought with the payload. We call it Herbie, Hurricane Research Balloon. And it goes up into the eye of the hurricane. It collects data, uh, records video from the two GoPros. It tells us where it is via satellite and amateur radio beacon. The balloon bursts at the stratosphere level, falls back to Earth, and we go get it. But this is going to be a real challenge because it's going to fall back down and the floodwaters are going to come. So we're going to have to really think about whether or not this is the one to launch Herbie in or not. Because it could be swamped and buried under mud and muck. I mean, honestly, we'll have to just see. We don't want to lose the first one forever, uh, even though it made it up to the stratosphere. I don't know. We'll have to think about it. Story for tomorrow. That is it for me for now. That's what I know. Uh, I think the best thing I could have told you is about weather.gov and reading those hurricane local statements. Encourage your friends and family that are curious about what to expect to read the hurricane local statement found at the weather.gov site. It's absolutely incredible how much information is in there. So please take advantage of that. I'm going to get some sleep eventually. I hope you do the same. Good luck to you all uh, here in Texas. I feel for you. I know what you're going through. I go through the same thing, but on a different level, because I don't live here, obviously. But the anxiety is definitely real, and I understand it. Hopefully what I've done for you is helpful. I am hopefully part of a package of information that you absorb, and uh, we'll continue doing that tomorrow. We'll also be live on YouTube tomorrow. Remember, you can follow on Twitter, uh, if I can get it to draw, at Hurricane Track. And uh, a lot of people have asked about how they can support what we're doing. Uh, we don't have any big-time major sponsors, and we're crowdfunded now. So you can go to patreon.com slash hurricane track and, you know, just help out for a few months during hurricane season. It all adds up. And uh, we'll talk more about some of that later because it is important. We've got to be able to fund what we do. But you guys come first. I want to make sure you are informed and that you stay safe and alive. That's my number one goal. Have a great rest of your night. Thanks, as always, for tuning in. It's much appreciated. I've gotten to know some of you here on the YouTube. It's amazing. I'm Mark Suddeth, and I'll have much more for you. Live coverage wall-to-wall -wall starting tomorrow, probably near sunrise.